Everyone agrees, electronics play an essential part in our lives. The proof lies in continuing high demand for computers, portable telephones and televisions. But it's a field in which advances are constant. And machines quickly get thrown away and replaced. Nevertheless, on top of the threat our throwaway consumerism poses to the environment, there's the risk of wasting materials that could be reused. When you consider that a computer contains one and a half kilograms of copper, it's easy to imagine the fortune in materials inside the goods we throw away. Some people have taken note of this potential and several huge recycling plants have been set up in Canada, Japan and in Scandinavia. Every day ships arrive to discharge their cargoes of discarded computers, mobile phones, televisions and hi-fi equipment. They're then dismantled and separated into their electronic components, metals and plastic parts. Copper is the most important material. New sheets of it of extreme purity are produced and made ready for reuse. Recycling then has become an important source of minerals. Recycling is very important to, to cover the need of, of metals. And uh, for instance in Europe you have about 41% of the usage of copper comes from recycling. Uh, from many different products of course, not only electronic scrap. Uh, but for all metals you can find in electronic scrap, it's a very important new mine. And in devices whose recyclability has been perfected, such as mobile phones, it's not only copper that's found, not at all. The mobile phone itself, it contains uh, copper in the circuit board and gold as um, uh, corrosion protection on contacts and also on the circuit board in the cell phone. Copper content is about 15%, maybe a little bit more, up to 20%. Uh, gold content is about 100 grams per ton, maybe a little bit more sometimes. Uh, so the value is very good on, on the material. Recycling the new El Dorado is very much the way of the future. For the CNN World Report, this is Waypress International in Sweden.